sweet babies. They won't have this problem for a while. But if you are looking for younger looking skin, our audience is going to take home Nivea's Q10 Plus Anti Wrinkle Day Care Cream for smoother looking skin. And we'll draw for this gift basket. It's got the complete line after the show today. So I've got good news for the parents out there that are struggling with their babies crying it out. Please welcome Nanny Rubina. She has got an alternative. This is what we want to hear. Okay, this is Sonia and her son Lucas, like just the most well-mannered, well-dressed baby ever. Um, let's talk a little bit about actually rocking the baby to sleep. Because yeah. a lot of us are told the only way to get them down and into a proper night schedule is to get them to cry it out. And it's excruciating. It is, and I gotta be, you know, I gotta confess that that, that is and has been the method I have followed for the longest time. But I yeah. find that I'm having more and more clients they don't want to do it, they can't do it, they cave and give in. Yeah. And so if you allow your baby to cry it out for so many hours and then you cave, it's just not good. It's too traumatizing. Yeah, it's not Just don't work. even go there. So if you can do it, there are alternative me methods, and that is actually the rocking and putting the baby down. Right. You know? Okay, a yeah. lot of us are doing that anyways, but maybe we're not doing it exactly right. There's a certain window that you have to actually get them into this idea of rocking them to sleep and then after they get to a certain age, it doesn't really work anymore, does no, it? No, it doesn't. I find anyway that when I go out, if I can catch a baby in the very early days, now not mm -hmm. every baby will allow you to put them down even in the early days, but if you can start to soothe your baby and put them down in the very early days, I'm telling you now, your baby will actually settle in the crib and go to sleep quite easily with no form of sleep training needed. Okay. I think one of the reasons is they get into the habit of a car motion or a vibrating chair, putting them to sleep, Mm -hmm. And once they've got used to that, that's all they want. And that's all they know. That motion has put them to sleep. So then you're, you're hit on with, you've got to start some form of sleep training. And that's where the rocking comes in. Okay. But So if you start early, it's good. I find it doesn't work as well for older babies. I would take this rock and put down to about nine, maybe ten months. Mm -hmm. After that, it's a real struggle. Okay. Then you may have to revert to the, you know, the more harsher, which is the cry it out. He's so yeah. chill. So how old is uh, Lucas? Uh, he's four and a half months. Does he sleep okay? Uh, for the most part, he's having some problems in the middle of the night, waking up to want milk. Yeah, for sure. Once, I mean, know. I want milk too in the middle of the night. I try not to get up though, but yeah, they're babies, right? So do you usually rock him uh, to put him down at night or can you can you put him in the crib and he's okay? I usually put him in the, like lately I've been putting him in the crib after mm -hmm. I've been feeding him and uh, letting him try to fall asleep on his own. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's a tough that's transition a, to definitely, make. Definitely um, the place to start is yeah. let him have a little fuss. And basically that's, that's what we're gonna do now is basically show you exactly how to put the baby down and, and how to handle that situation. But you have to also know that leading up to doing that, it is the utmost importance that you schedule the sleep. Because yeah. if your baby woke up an hour ago and you want your baby to go back to sleep, well, guess what? Baby's not going back to sleep. Mm -hmm. So the amount of sleep time that your baby has through the day, the amount of time they're awake, all of that is very relevant to you getting to this method. Okay. So you really do have to schedule your baby first. I'm a big, you know, firm believer of that. So we followed the schedule, now it's time to rock them. What's now the process? Now it's time to rock. Okay, Sonia, let's go on over here. So what we will do is, we're gonna, you know, baby's all melancholy, it's bedtime right now. One of the things that I encourage is that the first time you do this is in the evening. Yeah. Why? Because if you do it in the morning, it takes so long you could surpass your morning nap time. Okay. Or morning nap gets so late you roll into the afternoon nap and everything gets pushed back, which means your scheduling was useless because now you're all off schedule. Yeah. So the first time you start to do this form of sleep training, you want to do it in the evening. So how but, long is this going to take exactly? You know what? Every baby is different. I've actually had babies, I'm telling you, they've been asleep. It, it's like moms have been, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. And gosh, the baby's been asleep without a word of a lie, seven minutes. Yeah. Then there's been babies, it's taken an hour and a half. Right. You know, but the thing is, you're not allowing your baby to cry for an hour and a half. You're constantly comforting your baby. So, so basically, we're going to pretend that Lucas is, you know, he's all melancholy and, well, he is actually, and he's all relaxed. Hi. Okay. And it's time for you to go nanas. Okay. So then we're going to put him down in the crib. Now, Lucas is an exceptionally good baby today because he's not hollering, but you know, had Lucas been in the vibrating okay. chair, in the car seat, he would probably start hollering now, mom's put him down. Yeah. He'd probably have a little, little hissy fit there. So we'd give him a moment, let him have a few, you know, just li literally depending on the age, I would leave him for maybe a minute 
and then you would pick him up again. Okay. And you would soothe him and comfort him any way you want. So if it's over the shoulder, rocking, oh, he's getting fed up. He's he like, said. I was fine in the I crib, was fine actually. in there. It's like, will you stop pick me up? picking me up? Okay. We would calm him down. So you, you take enough time. You know, whatever it takes to calm the baby down. Yeah. Get him into a real melancholy state, and then you would put him down again. So you want them to be, you, you're, you're picking them up and making them, like, chill sleepy. out and be get mellow, calm. And get you a little sleepy. And you put him down almost asleep, but not asleep. But not fully asleep. Not so fully asleep. So stop before you get to that. You want their eyes to be a little bit foggy yeah, and then yeah. put them down little, then. Looking a little Still awake. And the other thing <laughs> that you want to do then is, as you progress throughout the time of doing this is, you know, let's say day two or three, you want to try and have less interaction. So as time goes on, he starts to settle, he gets up and fussies. Now you're going to spend 30 seconds calming him and putting him back. Okay. And over the course of time, I, can, I can't even stress to you how this will work, mm -hmm. but it, he needs less and less attention from you and starts to settle quite easily. And you're, is she standing here the whole time? Yes, yes. You don't go hide behind the curtains? Well, you could step back, you know. You, okay. I don't want him to be like, looking at you because if he knows you're there, that's he's what I'm gonna thinking. Fuss. So you could step back, but okay. it's none about leaving the room because you right. are going to be picking him up and putting him down again okay. at regular intervals. So. Okay, I like it. Thanks so much to Ikea for this uh, fabulous baby gear. And I don't know why neither of my kids came out like Lucas. <laughs> Look at him! He's just like, whatever, I'm chill. Let's I, go to break. <laughs> they were all like that. I'd be out of a job. <laughs> You're just so good.